so I woke up from my nap, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes ago. And I woke up in a panic because I looked at my phone and I had dozens and dozens of Discord messages saying that Max has reacted to my video. So I got out of bed, a little giddy, I won't lie. And now I get to make some free content. Easy. So let's see what Max has to say about it. I have not seen this yet. It has 19k views. It was released two weeks ago and it's called the bane of your guild that title i wasn't actually happy with i but i'm i guess i'm glad that i went with it and apparently it's about some guild drama so i kind of wanted to watch that automatic jack has blah 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 oh look at that he already watched like two minutes of it two minutes of it all right blah 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 automatic jack we love jack this is this is this is sometimes a moment not not automatic Jack's moment. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen the I'm Just Ken parody video? Oh my god, streamer brain, streamer brain. Okay, here we go, here we go. So hard, bro. World of Warcraft is full of neckbeards, e-girls, sweats, and apparently Canadian super soldiers. Today what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So <laughs> I got that reaction a lot. Like, what, what does that mean? <laughs> of neck beards. Is full of neck beards. Am I a neck beard? Most certainly. Most certainly. We all are. I don't have beard on my neck. That I'm looks like... Head. Eh. Yes, kind of. Yep. You're an... Okay, I'm a neck beard. Then. Agreed. Agreed. E -girls, sweat. I'm definitely not an e-girl. Am I a sweat? Definitely a sweat. Is that even a question? I think that's what people refer to as, like, other people attempting to be good at games. Or, like, I guess trying really hard. Like a tryhard. I mean, I think I was at one point. But, like, I just kind of play the game and vibe now. I feel like that's where I'm at. But, uh, I... I'm definitely classified under a sweat, I'm sure. I like, I, I like, okay. Does yeah, like a sweat definitely a sweat. I, like, I had a, a Mythic Plus tournament over the weekend and I logged in, named my character Brick Bucket, and I like was like missing a few enchants and like I barely set my character up. That doesn't sound like I'm trying very hard. That's true. That's true. I mean, I just like, what is it? It's the people trying to parse in heroic? Yeah, but like, I don't know. I, I would never do that. When you damn just called out like half the people I know, Parson and Heroic. Damn, Max looks down on you guys. That's crazy. Play high keys, you activate sweat mode immediately. All right, so I'm a True. neck beard and a sweat. I'm an, I'm a neck beard and a sweat. Look at that. Canadian super soldiers. Am I a Canadian super soldier? I don't no. know what that means. What does no. it mean by that? It's very straightforward, actually, Max. You're a sweat beard. Okay. Today I'm going to share a guild recruitment gone wrong story, and I think you're going to like this one, so hang out. Picture okay. this. It's season four of the best expansion ever made. Shadow Shadowlands. Morewalker, have you lost your way? If you stop pausing the video, I think... I okay, one second. Here you go. I'm going to link this. Here you go. <laughs> Called out, bro. Again. Uh, watch this on your own. Please leave. I'm going to be pausing videos all What a time. homie. Uh, if you want to just watch the video, uh, I encourage you to leave and then watch it yourself. That's what's up, dude. That's a homie move. About that. Max is the homie. My guild at the time was doing Sanctum of Dom. We were on the Dommy Mommy herself. We were short Dami someone Mami, that day, okay. so we opened up the trusty group finder looking for one more DPS. Not knowing that we were about to open Pandora. This little scene, as simple as it is, was kind of a bitch to make, I'm not gonna lie. I had to, like, make a separate character. Like, the DPS portion, the item level portion, and the name portion all came from three different layers. And this whole frame was a layer itself. Very simple, but, like, it took me a little bit to figure out to, like, make it look legit, you know? I'm cool guy. He does look cool. He does. He does. I did a good job making him look cool. Cool 
guy here was the first. Okay, that is an insane voice to use. Mistake. Oh man. This wasn't a very hard. As soon as I got the uh, the voice lines from my buddy Bob, uh, he always did this Carl Weezer impression, and I, I needed to put it in the spotlight somehow. So I'm glad that it's getting the recognition it deserves. That's awesome. We did another body, so mommy would give us an extra piece of loot. Yep. If anyone remembers Sylvanas, Sylvanas is a really long, drawn-out fight. It's almost ten minutes. Was it long and heroic? It was. It, yeah, I guess that. I mean, it was needlessly too long on Mythic, but I think it was. This guy only knows Mythic grade. What a sweat, bro. That's crazy. Just had to wait. Long. But for those ten minutes, cool guy. Eight out of nine Mythic, by the way. Yep. Oh, Classic. Crap. Yeah. This guy. This never happens. I'm actually pretty good. I just. I think I just messed uh, up. I okay, like poor cool guy is getting slandered right now. <laughs> All he did so far was just sign up to the group. <laughs> oh, he does much more. ...by our elite team and gamer prowess that he wanted to join the guild and leave it to our fearless guild leader to yeah. immediately send an invite. I'm just going to point this out real quick. Him having the time line up the whole time is tilting the fuck out of me. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he just wanted to he's, he's still a homie, though. He's still a homie. A place to hang out. And he died. That's okay. Mistake number two. Yeah, man. Okay. It's okay if you die. Mistakes happen. Constantly blowing up guild chat, which in itself isn't a bad quality to have. Is that true? I feel like if you just join a guild and you, in quotes, blow up guild chat. I was trying to give him some credit, dog. I was. He, I'm not trying to paint him as the worst person in the world, but he's pretty close. Invited. And if you were a friend of any of our raiders and you wanted an invite, you could get an invite to the guild. A long time ago and we stopped doing that because like random guildies friends would join and i mean they would just demolish guild chat like it would be the only person talking and then everyone in the guild would be like dude i don't even want to talk in guild chat because this guy's going to talk to me and then it's like okay we gotta chill out. <laughs> oh man oh man do i know some of those oh shit <laughs> that's so funny so i i kind of well, that's not just me that. If you are literally asking for people to boost you, it's definitely a bit much. Well, they're not asking to boost. They just wanted to join the group. They just happen to be bad. Yeah, he just wants to know when the next raid is. When's the next raid? Any gamers for a transmog run? Hey, I'm a shaman, but this weapon with strength is pretty good. Okay, these aren't even real, even real Discord messages. These first two are just like a friendly guy asking for some things, you know? This one is like, obviously, dude, cool guy right now is getting hard slandered. No, 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 no. He's got slightly more aggressive. Let's just say cool guy wasn't so cool after all. Oh my god. Help me. There there he is. There's a guild master in question. I am Paladamon the Usurper. Hey, let me let me have my moment, buddy. Okay? This is my time, okay? Don't no wedge yourself in here. All right. Now this is getting rough. Okay, so if this is true. <laughs> it's cool true. It's true. Did this guy sounds. Everything is a word for word quote except for the shaman item strength thing. Because fun fact, cool guy was actually a rogue. Uh, so some of these pieces are embellished a little bit, but quotes from cool guy, they were dead on. Super annoying. Oh, wow. So Legion time walking comes around, and at the time, I'm still the best fury warrior in the world. With Legion Wait, what's time that mod? Warrior in the world. Bro, the number two mod goes crazy. <laughs> Duh. Eat your heart out, dogs. That's awesome. That's awesome. In time walking comes Court of Stars, and an opportunity. To oh, look, he's in chat. The farmer is better. That was bait. <laughs> That's so awesome. Signet. A Tom Tom is the goat. Let me scroll back. Who who said that? Legion time walking comes. Opac. Yeah, that's the guy. That's my boy. That's what's been kind of cool about making these videos. A lot of people that uh, support this fucking really dumb ideas I have. That's kind of cool, I guess. Court of Stars and an opportunity to get the jeweled signet. Abyss ring that was a must-have for fear. Farmer stonks. Let's go. That's me, baby. <laughs> okay. So I formed a funnel group. 
where everyone would give me the ring if it dropped. So we decided to invite That's some streamer shit. That's that I I appreciate this guy's game. Yes. Guy. Yes, sir. Look, he gets it, dude. I need some things. Other people need some things. I need to get my thing first though. You know? It's pretty privilege. See me and Max kindred kindred spirits here. I inform cool guy that this is a funnel group and if he oh, gets he's going to steal your fucking it goes ring. To me. Yeah. And I asked if he's cool with that. And let's just say he was not cool with that. All right, so then you just don't invite him. Correct. Correct. I just don't invite him. That's factual. Yes. What do you mean, funnel group? Who even does that anymore? What is this, Clafton? I'm not playing with people. I love getting the little giggles out of people. I love it. That, this is going to be so corny. I'm not going to lie. But this reaction that Max is having... These little. <laughs> fellow guildies. That's what it's all about, dude. Like, actually, like since I was a kid, I've been watching like WoW content creators, WoW streamers, WoW machinima back when that was a really big thing. And uh, that that little giggle, I'm glad that I could give that to some people. That's pretty cool. I'm telling the guild master. So after cool guys rant, even though he's laughing at Bob's voice. A funny voice for. I would love to take credit for the voice, but that's all. That's all, Bob. It's all, Bob. Cool guy or whatever. He sounds like Growl. I could see Growl. Doing it does kind of sound like Growl. That's funny. Kind of sit awkwardly in the Discord call, which cool guy didn't leave, and one of our fellow guildies must have had a bad Growl hit. shots. No, I don't mean that's what Growl sounds like. Sounds like Carl Weezer. Weezer. See, they know. They, they know who it's growl supposed to sound like. Impersonating someone as a meme and then making that exact same voice that day because he blew up right back no at... stop saying growl capital l it's grow capital w shut up w chat l. let him watch the video holy shit we would have helped you get the ring next but you're oh my god a fucking baby about it god fucking damn it i'm so tired of noobs like what the fuck is this is that what a cool tyran male looks like <laughs> what the fuck is this dude the whole time i've been making this video or i was making this video every little bit was what the fuck am i making dude like you shit you made me drop my fucking mountain dew holy fuck ah! So after that lovely exchange, so quick shout out to the homie, uh, our our warlock on the left here. Uh, th that's my buddy Dooman on YouTube. I uh, check him out. Um, I think I, I believe I link him in the video. Uh, he did the voice work for the warlock, and he also helped me with the thumbnail, which I do attribute to a lot of the success of the video because videos don't get watched if they don't get clicked on, you know. So shout out Dooman. Uh, Good guy, good videos. Of evenly tempered people, we finished the first run of Court of Stars. And the ring didn't drop. <laughs> Maybe the build up here is a little too long looking back at it. How did this guy get this footage? <laughs> um, it's a very well known add on. Um, I was told by some people to not release our secrets, so it is an add-on you can get. Um, if I get pressed on it hard enough, I, I'd, I'd give it. People have guides on it and shit. It's not hard. Uh, it takes a little bit of work to learn how to use the add-on, but it can do a lot of things. Like this, I get. I feel like he must have spent a lot of time on this. This video took, like over i would say 60 hours of actual editing for like an eight minute video it's kind of insane i'm not gonna lie uh that definitely could be brought down like if i were to remake this video um in a different style or like do a video in the same style i would do it a lot faster now but yeah it's it took some time model viewer not model viewer Dude, he's got the fucking chopper. Holy <laughs> shit. That little bit killed me to make, dude. Is he a warrior? Yeah, dude, warrior got the blicky, dog. 
Dude, pull out the goddamn blicky. The blicky. That's what I'm talking about. And the drop. ring drops. Oh, let's go. First yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. I'm pretty excited. Let's about fucking it. go. But that's when I get a lovely little message, and nothing could have prepared me for the message. Cool guy left. I can't believe he hasn't complimented my mug. That's insane. That's crazy to me. <laughs> the way this guild is ran is unacceptable. I should be respected and be spoken to in such a tone as... Oh my god. See, okay, why did this even go on for this long? Like, Real. If someone is clearly Real. Just, like a fucking lunatic like this guy, if he actually typed anything close to this, like... This is where sometimes guild masters of guilds at any level, I'm not talking high-end raiding guilds, I'm talking fucking, like, the guilds that don't even raid, like, casual guilds. Like, someone needs to have the stones to just, even if someone means well, but they're just super fucking annoying, and especially if they don't mean well, you just gotta take the L for everyone yeah. else and just remove them and deal with the con So now that I've been... Uh, a officer in a guild for I guess almost two years now maybe maybe even two years I don't know I'm not good with time um we've definitely learned to handle situations like cool guy a lot better luckily at the time I wasn't in a, a leadership position I don't know man I just play the game but uh yeah I Situations like this now probably wouldn't fester as long, but who knows? Every situation is different. Consequences of that and just like take it on yourself. Because like so clearly all this would have been avoided if like, all the comments, all the Twitch chats just saying they would have kicked them. Kind of a fucking weirdo. And then they get extra weird and you're like, hey man, going to have to kick you from the guild. And then they'll get super mad, but you spare everyone else having to deal with this. Unbelievable. I am Canadian Special Forces and I can end that guy's life with one firm punch oh. to his stupid bird chest. That's a real quote. That is a word for word quote, pretty much. I, I say you can't say word for word then pretty much. That is a pretty much straight quote. He did threaten to kill the warlock player with one firm punch to his bird chest. I wonder how close a lot of this stuff is. Very. I'm sure it's like decently close. It's pretty close. It's a little specific. It's he just disappeared. That's parts dead on. Until one day he was in trade chat crying and complaining about our funnel group for the. Wait, what? They were trying to give a ring to a guy who needed it. Report them. Well, okay, so you did kick him, which makes yep. sense after he freaked the fuck out. Yes. Whole server to see. And that's when our trusty guild leader jumped into the fray. The second challenger to face cool guy. He did G could. I guess we didn't kick him. It was. Let's fucking go. Wait, were they having it out in trade chat? Dude, you know what that kind of, what kind of vibes that gives me? When like randomly I'm doing a stream about pretty much anything and then like someone in this chat says something and then some Here I come, this is my part. <laughs> like please, Max, notice me. <laughs> It is. It is his part, though. At them, and they're like, "Yeah, I bet your logs suck, though." Like to make to make his point irrelevant. And the other guy's like, "Haha, link your logs." Nah, I'm a I'm a bitch. Fucking, you're a bitch. And then like we will just be talking about like five different subjects, and these two people will just go back and forth for like an hour, with both basically both of them just have huge egos and cannot accept the other person getting any win, and, and they have to get the last word. You just gotta fucking. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Just call the other guy a bitch. Max Sage advice. Real. This is a Twitch chat exclusive. I've actually never seen this happen in YouTube. This is in this is a Twitch an all time Twitch chat bit. So recent so when I first was aware of it and I turned on his stream, this is about the bit that I saw, but I, I clicked off at some point. I think I type a message here at some point. There cool guy stood. Paladamon approaches cool guy. People on YouTube are just like adults, bro. They talk about like taxes and stuff in there. Word. Greed, cool That's right. And says, Your guild is toxic and I'm going to let the whole server know. And I'm gonna end you. 
right here, right now. <laughs> Palatamon replies, nah, I would win. Paladimon then charges his covenant ability, the divine toll, and bolts a holy blast at Cool Guy, sending him flying back and yeah, knocking I get shit the on. wind from him. As Cool Guy winces in pain, Palatamon approaches him and says, from Bastion to the Maw, above and below, I will purge you from our realm, for I am Palatamon the Usurper. So this little sequence here, took forever to make i i stopped making and returned to making this little sequence four times probably three or four weeks apart each time it, it just was like sandpaper in my brain but i didn't want to force it so i just kept putting it down coming back to it putting it down coming back to it and uh, i'm happy with how it turned out i took my time with it i'm happy with it i feel like the editing here is good What? <laughs> Me? <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty cool to hear. Um, I remember when I was releasing this video, uh, before I even like hit release, I was talking to somebody and I was like, I mean, I'm a, you know, dude, I just put like 60 hours of work into this plus like all this other stuff and uh, all this work just for something not to be seen will be a little discouraging. And they told me, uh, it's not about the views, right? It's like if you scratch that creative itch and, uh, you had fun doing it. And, uh, I did. I did have fun doing it. And it's nice that it's being seen. So it's a double whammy. Double whammy. Good feeling. The one who defeated Garrosh in hand to hand combat. It's like, it's, it's, it's like not super high quality but like that's the like i this, i like scuffed good content like, scuffed scuff good fuck, and it's corny yeah the... definitely corny i like writing the line of like corny and not corny you know because some some corny is good you know you don't want it to be too corny you know um when i was making this i definitely thought it, i was writing the line of a uh, too corny for sure it's corny good it's corny good I'll take that. We take those. The one who will purge you. Cool guy in agony, left in the wake of ashes that was Palatamon's power, replies, I tire of these games, Paladin. I am going to use my ultimate attack, one that will leave you in silence from my sheer power. Cool guy then reaches for his computers, mouse, then right clicks Palatamon's unit frame and clicks report. And in that moment, the paladin felt true fear for the very first time. <laughs> I love, I love, the, I love to get a laugh, man. That's awesome. Because there's two minutes left in this video, but so far this is like the most mundane, yeah, most significant interaction ever. Like weirdo joins guild, says some weird shit, gets kicked, brings it up in trade chat a year later. This has happened a million times, but he's turned it into like a fucking epic saga. This guy's got talent, man. Wait, someone. Oh. I don't know about talent, but that's it's it's good to hear. It's nice to hear. My ego, my ego is rising. My ego grows strong. <laughs> in YouTube chats. No, that that's really cool. That's really cool. My YouTube account literally uses my real name. I can't afford to be toxic here, and your name is Tim Hundhausen. What a fucking insane last name, Hundhausen. <laughs> Dude, I bet you're a huge Chad. Uh, by the way, you can actually not show your real name and change that, but also you shouldn't because your name goes hard as fuck. Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> this little bit killed me, man. The whole time when I heard, because that song is Vort's theme song from uh, Dark Souls. And uh, as soon as I heard that kick up, when I was just like playing Elder Ring, listening to Dark Souls music, uh, I was like, this is the one, man. This is the one. And I had the whole build up planned in my head, the meteor coming down. It's just, it's just the first thing that I saw in my brain. And then this little transition with him like all big and spooky behind Paladamon. Uh, 
so it's 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 cool it's something that i really enjoy about editing is having an idea and then being able to actually create it um even as scuffed corny as it is right wait the gm got a one week ban yeah <laughs> what um so what ended up happening I'm sure that he's going to th theorize on why he got banned, but what it is is that the social contract was just added to the game, and calling someone bad at the game is against the social contract. Um, one week ban. Okay, that guy for sure said something a lot worse than whatever he said he did. No. Because, like, if one person reports you... He said, I did. I did, right here, it's me, I did. Wait, I'm the okay. GM. Two Notice me, senpai. Please, please. Two scenarios. Either a lot of people in your trade chat reported him. Like both That's them, possible. They thought they were annoying. That's possible. Or he said something really bad. And no. is not being talked about in this video. Or, 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 they have been banned many times previously. No. Where they like, just kind of, when they get reported, they just ban them without looking at it again. Or maybe no. all of those things. All cool guys stood cool up guys against them. Server transferred never to be seen from again. And so, cool guys' turbulent chapter in our guild came to an end. His this is kind of an insane video because basically nothing happened here. Like, yeah. again, this interaction or something close to it or worse has happened. Cool guy is in liquid now. Of <laughs> Real. <laughs> in Real. Over the course of the last 20 years. I hope so. But, like, he turned it into an awesome 10 minute YouTube Archer video. left us with the valuable lessons learned. I appreciate that, sir. I do. Um, it was such a stupid idea. It was such a dumb idea for like this like mundane topic, right? But it's like, yeah, uh, situations like this is kind of like what makes your World of Warcraft journey like unique to yourself. You know, it's a trait of MMOs, and uh, it's cool that we can share these stories, right? And a renewed appreciation for the bonds that hold us together. Okay, hundreds of millions might be a lot of times, but it, it's... Nah, it seems, nah, it seems accurate. We faced, we emerged stronger. Literally nothing happened. This is like middle school drama. Yeah, but do you realize that in MMOs, middle school, high school drama happens with grown adults because a lot of the people who spent a lot of their high school days not hanging out with people and playing video games instead means that they didn't... Guys, I'm in this guild. It's all real Zug Zug. I think that's Dran. I think that's Dran. High school drama interact. It's real. Actions in real life, so they're getting it out of their system in their 20s and 30s as an adult with other people because they never learned how to do it IRL. Real. If you think about it, it makes sense. Ultimately, cool guy. So strong that we completely disbanded the guild and started a new one. Ultimately, cool guy left the server, never to be seen from again. But I couldn't let this story be forgotten. So guild leaders and officers out there, be careful who you recruit. Because sometimes it's a crazy Canadian super soldier who will get... That's where the Canadian super soldier thing came from? I never even... I thought I was going to, like, understand the <laughs> No! The the video, but it kind of goes hard that I still don't get really it. Because he said he's Canadian special forces, man. Guess I didn't make that clear enough. <laughs> A single piece of loot if i had one message to the wow community don't be like cool guy actually there's a lot of people in the story you don't want to be like this video took a while to make yeah so not to say it. i feel like the gm's like a huge bitch here too oh, because... <laughs> oh man get rocked dude that's crazy the guy saying notice me just got called a bitch bro that's awesome he definitely took too long to kick the guy to be fair, he might have been in an officer position at that point, but he definitely wasn't the guild leader at the time. So, he's a guild leader currently, for sure. And then, like, hey, if someone's popping off about your guild, if you open trade chat and you're unaffiliated with all of this, and you see some guy spamming about how toxic another guild is, Sometimes when you're in that guild, you can think... It's like one of those moments where you think everyone's actually thinking about you. Like, I remember when I was a kid, I never wanted my dad or mom...
newbies at comma recruiting we need dps and heals guys come play <laughs> true lol w lmao gm's a bitch Mr. President, I am a bitch. It's true. Oh no. No. So, this is about where I tuned in at some point, and he just kind of goes off on a tangent um, and leaves the video up and then keeps talking about some stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, whenever I posted the video originally, uh, I didn't think it was going to be seen. And now it's being reacted to by one of the bigger streamers and that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool um yeah not much else to say uh, i do stream live on twitch i guess tuesday through friday some saturdays like 7 ish p.m est to like 11 ish p.m est tuesdays and thursdays are raid nights and a normal season you know it's an off season now uh Stop by, I'll put it in the video. Don't stop by. I don't know. Thanks for watching, homies. Uh, if you made it this far, you a homie. Later.